Every so often, there is a golf club that's released that makes you think you've either got to be very good or plain crazy. Let's do it. And let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name's James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, that's right, today we have the Callaway Rogue ST Triple Diamond LS. Now, to play this driver, you either have to be, like I said in the introduction, very, very good or particularly crazy. You see, this has all the technology that you will see in the standard Callaway Rogue ST Max, the standard Callaway Rogue ST Max LS and the Callaway Rogue ST Max D. There's too many of these in my opinion but it's smaller, it's sleeker, the weight is rammed forward, and it is scarily sexy. So much so it might lure quite a few people into using it that um, maybe shouldn't. You see a few people that use this club, John Rahm, um, John Rahm, uh, I think a few other, others tried it, but um, John, John Rahm. John Rahm swings it a bit better than me and a bit faster than me, but guys, in today's video, I'm gonna test this driver out here on the golf course my only worry with this is, you see, I know that if I put one hell of a swing on this, if all the stars aligned and I hit it out the centre of the club face with the right swing path and the right alignment and the right delivery position, it would go like the clappers. It would absolutely fly as far as any driver I would potentially hit. But could I do that consistently? So today we're going to hit three balls off a number of tees, quite difficult tee shots as well. We're going to see how consistent I can be with this Callaway Rogue Triple Diamond LS. And we're going to put it in the studio and test it against its slightly younger but fatter brother. A bit like me and my brother, the Callaway Rogue ST Max LS. See how much difference there really is. And if it's worth going, mega low spin. Right, that is enough talking for now. Let's hit three balls off this second hole here at Woolley Park Golf Club. The line, guys, is just over that tree. Um, if I can launch it that high with this driver. I'm going to try and hit the same shot three times. Frightening, 450cc head. Mega low spin. But maybe that's the one where you think, oh yes, that was gorgeous. And I'm going to tell you now, I've seen where that's gone and that's massive. This could be scary. Guys, comment below, would you see yourself putting the triple diamond in the bag or would you just try it for a bit of fun? Does anyone see my tea peg? It's here. Right, can we match that first shot? It was pretty perfect. Just fade a bit more, just a touch. I mean, as it stands, that was one, that's in the rough, but it's not bad. Right, final shot. So far, two out of three ain't bad. RIP, big man. Um, same shot over the tree. Can we carry it all the way down there? That first one's still in my head. Oh yeah, and that is gorgeous. So, and I think you could throw a blanket over the, the first one and the last one. Let's see where the middle one is. How consistent do you need to be to warrant putting this in the bag? Let's find out. I hate it when I put that over there. Ugh. And you see, for me, guys, usually I would test a driver against another driver on the golf course to give you an idea. But I almost don't think any of that matters. It's more about how consistent can you physically be with a driver that scares the life out of you, but has the potential to be wonderful. So I'm going to show you these drives from quite a way back, just so you know that they're honest. We can see two balls there in the fairway. I did say we could kind of throw a blanket over those two. And the middle shot, or the, the kind of second shot of the three, is left. But they're out there. They're big. They're, um, I'm taking that distance all day. Yeah, I'm putting this down as a victory. I mean, those two are obviously the more playable shots. You don't really want this line because you're blocked out. It's not really a bad drive, it's just a little bit left of where I wanted it. And front to back dispersion, so distance dispersion, is not bad at all. I reckon that one just stopped a little bit slower because the fairway is quite wet. Yep, called it. Pitched there, finished there. And I'm not for one second saying that this isn't the driver for me. It's important not to discount the driver just on its reputation. Um, but my reputation... Um, isn't the best. So we're into a strong wind here and the line for the green is about there. Anything this side, you're pretty much safe as long as it's well struck. All out attack. I feel like this driver is made for people who attack golf courses. It's not a, I'm gonna pot it down the fairway at 250 kind of driver. It's not that. 
Come on, wind to the wind, but the wind is helping that way a touch. That's well struck, but it's high. I think it's probably safe if it was high off the face, that. that's disappointing. That's not near the green, I think it's in play. Come on, same line, a bit lower, maybe a touch further right. Oh, that's good. You know, I've not really hit one. Oh, not again. You know, I've not really hit one offline yet. We're going to have to try something a little different here. We're going to put the camera lower down. It's not even that windy today. It's just like a, a 10 minute gust. Come on. Same shot as that last one. Even further right. More aggressive. Oh, yeah. I was healing. That might have a bit too much spin on it. That worries me. And that's what worried me when we went inside to the studio. If you don't get this in, if you don't get this in the middle, even just like that, it's going to rob you of ball speed and distance. That might be lost thinking about it. Let's go in the studio and let's have a look at how this driver compared to the Callaway Rogue ST Max LS. Do you need the triple diamond, or could you go with the standard LS? Let's take a look. So I started proceedings with the standard Callaway Rogue ST Max LS driver and I absolutely loved it. There's no change there. For me, this is one of the best drivers of the year. Look at that drive, by the way. That is miles. And I just can't speak high enough about this club. I think it's interesting that Callaway felt the need to release the triple diamond. Who's that really going to suit? We'll, we'll not talk about the last one that nearly finished up in the tennis courts. For me, generally, there were some good drives here. There were some bad drives. I think it's important to realise that it's not always going to be the driver. Straight away, I noticed the triple diamond came out a little bit lower. Not necessarily lower spin, just lower launching. It was definitely harder to keep it straighter and hit the fairways with. So when we talk numbers in a second, is it really worth changing into? I'm going to leave you on the best driver hit with the triple diamond, which doesn't speak volumes about much, but it was long. It did finish in the fairway. So guys, looking at the comparison between the standard Callaway Rogue ST Max LT, or LD, I don't know why I put LTD there, and the Triple Diamond, you can see I actually managed more ball speed with the standard version. Backspin was very, very similar. I actually got more backspin with the Triple Diamond. I think that's down to strike, and I think the ball speed's down to strike as well. So as you can imagine, I did manage a couple more yards with the standard model. I think there's more to be had with the Triple Diamond, but not on a very consistent basis. Looks amazing, feels amazing but not when you don't hit it properly. Let's get back out there and see if we can rescue something on the golf course. Right guys, walking up and it's never a good sign because the first one I've seen is down there. And I'm assuming that is the third one, I'm hoping so. Uh, I can see one here, which I think is probably the first one. And that, you know what, that first one must have clipped these branches because the one that I hit the best, the second one, is all the way up there so for consistency purposes it is a drivable green most of the time probably not today in the wind that we've had the last one just wasn't a great shot it was healy it was a bit spinny the wind was always going to batter it down i'd take that and i'll take that all day that's the shot where you think you know what why not right guys one more hole how close together can i get these three shots and should this go in my bag let me know get in the comments below I don't get what I'm gaining. Looking at the numbers from inside, what am I gaining from the LS? Apart from, look at me, I've got a triple diamond. Nothing. That's delightful. That's everything that I want. Everything. I don't feel as scared of it now I've played with it. Oh dear. Famous last words. That's gone. So good again. So guys, I've just hit the final three balls of this test. The first one was fantastic. I'm talking you through this because my mic stopped working halfway through. The first one was awesome. And I actually said, the words came out of my mouth. I'm not scared of this anymore. Guess where the second one went? You guessed it, out of bounds to the right. And I almost think it's like a rear wheel drive car in the snow or in, even in the wet. You wouldn't take one out in the snow, would you? You think, you know, I finally got this. I'll take it into that corner a little bit faster. You're in the ditch. Don't put it in the ditch. Don't put it in the ditch. The third one was fantastic. I'm going to walk and show you where these finish now. But for me, what worries me about this driver is that it's actually part of Callaway's lineup. In the past, the Triple Diamond hasn't been part of the lineup. How many people is it more suited to than the Max LS? Very, very few. But if you're in the market for a low spin driver, guys, go try it. Let me know what you think to it. Very similar to the Tyler TSI 4. 
nice it's there certainly not for everyone and you see two of the three shots are actually very very impressive guys i hope you've enjoyed that review of the callaway rogue st max ls triple diamond it's taken me ages to actually learn what it's called but the triple diamond ls driver guys if you've enjoyed it smash that subscribe button below leave us a like on this video they've gone exactly the same distance it's just a shame that the uh, other one is there somewhere it's not lost it's not lost it's here yes guys i can't wait to see you all exactly the same time tomorrow don't be late bye